Welcome to RPF. In this video, we'll discuss about PDF extractions using automation anywhere. So if you can see here, we have invoice which contains data related to company invoices. If you want, we can extract all those informations using automations anywhere. <laughs> Now, to start with this, I will create one taskbot where we'll provide the name of taskbot as PDF automations. Now, we have ID available. After that, I will drag and drop actions. Here, we'll add step. Within the step, we'll provide the title of the step as PDF automation. And post that, we'll try to build the logic so that it will extract desired informations, what I'm expecting to extract it. For extractions, we'll use extract text here. You can see variable control room and desktop file options are available. Now, rather than giving in variables, I'm directly assigning the file path so that we will have input file ready and accordingly, will try to get information from that PDF file. So sample invoice A is my PDF file and this will be in plain text. I wanted to target all pages, but if you want, even we can select specific page. And whenever extraction is ready, we want it to store into one folder that is plain text folder and export data into text file. So here I will create one text document with the name invoice plain text. Open this file so that the path will be generated and overwrite files with the same name when we will run it next time. Now it's in unsaved mode. If you want, you can save it and run the code. Now execution is completed. Let's see what results it generates. Here you can see within the file we got complete informations into text so rather than having the data available in pdf we can extract everything in text so that's the power of automation anywhere where we can easily copy everything and paste into the text file which contains the address locations amount invoice id everything exactly what we have into pdf data now let me select the file which contains multi languages and try to see if that works so here i've selected the file which contains multi language data let me open it and show you how it looks and probably post that will start looking out the results the purpose of showing this example is to see if the same example or same use cases are working for other languages or not. It means are we really able to get desired information from the PDF or not. Now here we have to define the page. As of now, I'm just targeting for page number one. But if you want, you can even select all pages as we did it in last executions. Now our execution has been successfully completed. Let's see the result. Here you can see from page one, whatever language informations we have, it's extracted everything and pasted into text file. So that's how quickly it's done. We can also do it for the structured text. Let's consider we have some structured informations available and we wanted to extract the informations of all the pages from those structured text. We can also do it. I wanted to store the same informations into different files. That's the reason I made the changes of output file name and then started the executions. Here, my execution has been completed. Let's see the result. I can see here 
the structure output generated successfully where we have all those informations in place let me show you the input file the input file contains these are the structured data where i try to get the informations in exactly the format which we have into pdf now let's try and see the other use cases rather than extracting everything let me open one pdf and i wanted to target few of these informations where we have data available or this pdf contains the image rather than having the text information we will have the image based pdf now here i wanted to generate the flow and try to get extract images because a pdf are having two types text based pdf and image based pdf in any circumstances we found this detail we have to go ahead with this extract image that is the other actions from pdf and provide the path or file path here you can select jpeg as a type of image to be converted to jpeg quality as of now by default it's 100 and based on that we will get the result if you wanted to see the documentations you can see automation anywhere documentations where it suggested different file formats which is available and accordingly you can select it and generate the results your folder path we can give it the exactly same folder path along with the different file name as an output so file prefix i am giving here as image underscore one so output will be generated here itself and color code you can specify any true color code or high color codes totally up to your you how qualitative output you want post that will run the code and see the result now output is generated let's see how it looks so in the image you can see the complete pdf is converted into the image or captured into the image format and we got an output that's all from this example hope you enjoyed the content if you think so this will be useful don't forget to share within your circle thank you for watching